The Cleveland Browns, that paragon of ineptitude, are on the cusp of becoming the second team in NFL history to go winless in a 16-game season. Mm -mm. But there is a bright side in the form of a potentially franchise-changing number one pick in next year's draft. I'm talking about Miles Garrett, the devastating edge rusher from Texas A&M, if as predicted, Garrett declares. Yes, the Browns desperately need a QB, but there just aren't any worth that top pick. And word is, they're in love with Garrett. And what's not to love? The man is an absolute freak, 6'5", 262, explosive, agile, everything a team wants in an elite pass rusher. Not to mention the intangibles. Garrett's a focused football player. He's not on social media, and he's not wrapped up in the noise of 2016 culture. Remember the last great defensive end to come out of Texas A&M? Well, Vaughn Miller turned out to be pretty good. Now, I'm not saying we're seeing Garrett on Dancing with the Stars anytime soon, but he's got the tools to make the impact that Miller has. Okay, now we can talk quarterbacks. The Browns have the Eagles' first round pick, which might end up top 10, and that's where I see them taking a signal caller. There are three prospects in the conversation. Firstly, Notre Dame's Deshaun Kaiser is a redshirt sophomore who could use another year in college, but he's got the prototypical frame for an NFL QB at 6'4", 230, and he's got a big arm. He needs time to develop, but the tools are there. North Carolina's Mitch Trubisky is a redshirt junior who had a fantastic season in his first year as a starter, but he's only had one year as a starter. Still, he threw for nearly 3,500 yards and 28 touchdowns, and teams are mesmerized by his potential. Now, don't get too excited for Trubisky just yet. He might go back to school and end up being the number one pick next year. And finally, you already know Clemson's Deshaun Watson, the two-time Heisman nominee who'll be playing in the college football playoff for the second straight year. He's as dynamic as they come. Now, none of these quarterbacks are surefire all pros, but with a defensive stud like Garrett and a franchise in desperate need of a facelift, the Browns might not be able to afford not to roll the dice.